we are very fortunate to receive uh, NIH uh, uh, grant support. So we have done a, a series of uh, uh, research into its mechanism. First is we realized amyonic membrane is the only other tissue other than the liver that can produce a very important protein that is necessary for uh, the cells to use and develop a special matrix. Because this finding, we now finally realize that uh, the mother nature has created a very important uh, a strategy for us to uh, control the, uh, the fetal environment uh, to be so different from the adult environment. We also see a totally different outcome uh, uh, in the surgery performed in the fetus or the surgery performed in the adult bodies. The fundamental difference is how the, uh, how the uh, cell or how the uh, fetus and the adult will handle uh, the inflammation and which is the first event of injury. And then this uh, process of uh, managing inflammation being so different and the outcome as a result, one end we have regeneration and the other we then have a scar tissue. Inflammation is very important for our survival because that's the first line of defense and we call that innate immunity. And uh, that is found in every single pathological process we cannot get around with the, uh, without having so-called inner immunity to be on our side in order to cope with the hostile uh, environment we faced after we leave the, the womb. And uh, this is uh, uh, something we evolutionally have developed and we cannot escape. And nonetheless, this strategy has hampered our regenerative ability because within a very short window, we still uh, retain that ability in when we incite the inner immunity to, to do the job. But very soon, when we pass that stage, uh, the, the outcome is clear. That is, our regenerative ability will be, uh, uh, will be traded off uh, for survival. That is, the scar tissue will become our uh, common outcome uh, instead of uh, having uh, ability to regenerate. I think that uh, initial phase is very desirable. That uh, will call upon our immune system to respond and to, to defend. And, and non, uh, nonetheless, uh, in a very critical period, it will evolve into a chronic stage. Uh, the inflammation becomes chronic. That's what we don't want. And that is found in disease. And the problem we, we face is how can we turn this process off? Can we reverse it? so that the chronic inflammation can be aborted? Or can we avoid the transition between acute to chronic inflammation? And that has been my, uh, my single most intense focus.